The objective within this lesson is to relate decimal and fraction multiplication. Let's rewrite this problem as a fraction multiplication expression. How many tenths is that? Right, it's 32 tenths times 21 tenths. Before we multiply these two decimals, let's estimate what our product will be. 3.2 is pretty close to 3, and 2.1 is pretty close to 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, so our answer should be around 6. It should be a little bit more than 6. Let's solve. Thirty-two times twenty-one. Six seventy-two. Which I can write in decimal in decimal form as six point seven two. Or six and seventy two hundredths. I can also solve this problem by writing it in unit form, my expression. That's 32 tenths times 21 tenths. Tenths times tenths is hundredths, which equals 6.72. 3 and 2 tenths times 2 and 1 tenth is equal to 6 and 72 hundredths. Here's another problem. 3 and 2 tenths times 44 hundredths. That's 32 tenths times 44 hundredths. Tenths times hundredths gives us thousandths. And then we got 32 times 44. Four times two is eight. Four times three is 12. Place the zero. Four times two is eight. Four times three is 12. And then we would add those together. Eight, zero, one. One plus one is two. Plus two is four. One thousand four hundred eight. One thousand four hundred eight thousandths. That's equal to one point four zero eight. I can also solve this within unit form. Looks like I have enough room here this time to to solve that. First off, it's 32 tenths times 44 hundredths. Four times two is eight, four times three is 12. Place the zero. Four times two is eight, four times three is 12. And add them. Thousand four hundred eight tenths times hundredths gives us thousandths, which equals one point four zero eight one and four hundred eight thousandths. Here's another problem. If I estimate it, that's be three times four, which would be twelve. I expect my answer to be larger than twelve. Let's try unit form first this time. 32 tenths, and then that's 421 hundredths. And 
Let me reorder that so it's easier to solve. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Place a 0. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. And 3 times 4 is 12. Add those together. Thirteen thousand four hundred seventy two thousandths which equals thirteen point four seven two. Let's work that out with our fractions. That'd be thirty two tenths times four hundred twenty one hundredths. 10 times 100 is thousandths, and then I have 421 times 32 again. Thirteen thousand four hundred seventy-two thousandths which equals 13.472. So that is my answer. Okay, it's your turn. Go ahead and solve this. Use fractions, and then also use unit form. times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, that's 104, 104 hundredths, which equals 1.04. Within unit form, 26 tenths times 4 tenths, my answer is going to be hundredths, 4 times 6 is 24, 4 is equal to 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. 104 hundredths, which is 1.04. That's the answer. Look over your work. Three point one times 1.4 equals... 3.1 is 31 tenths times 14 tenths. 31 times 14 over 100. That's about our estimate as well. 3 times 1 is 3, except we're going to do it larger than that. Let's use unit form. First off, that's 31 tenths times 14 tenths. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Place a 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. And then add those together. Tenths times tenths. So that equals 4.34. 4 and 2 tenths times 12 hundredths. That's 42 tenths times 12 hundredths. Looks like that'll get thousandths. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, place a 0, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 4 is 4, add them, 504 thousandths, written as a decimal, 0 0.504.
working as our fractions, 42 tenths times 12 hundredths. That's equal to thousandths, and 42 times 12. Four again equals five hundred four thousandths, which equals zero point five zero four. So that's my answer, and that's my product, my answer to a multiplication problem.